Good morning, gamers. Let's start with a doozy, all right? He goes, be me in a four-year relationship with my girlfriend and everything is going great. One day she approaches me and she says she wants to open the relationship. My heart drops. My breath catches my throat and the world darkens as I imagine our inevitable future breakup. And then she follows up by saying, not for me, but just for you. I want to see you with other girls. Turns out she gets turned on seeing me have, you know, with other women. And then she wants to join in eventually. So yeah, life's great. <laughs> like, what? I'm sorry, Adon, but what? There's $10 that this did not happen, alright? There ain't no way that this happened, but good for you if it did. This next guy just found out about religion, alright? He goes, be me. I've been Catholic my entire life. It's the night before uni finals and I prayed to Odin for wisdom since I was screwed for the test and I never had God answer any of my questions. I get to the test and I pass it easily. I try asking him for strength, knowledge, and fertility from various Norse gods and goddesses. They deliver. What do I do? Why does God never answer yet Odin unironically does? I don't want to stem from my faith and shouldn't ask things of other gods, but they seem more happy to help me when God remains silent. And honestly, my guy, you know what? I think you found what you need to do. Just give up, you know? Just go to the Norse gods. It doesn't really hurt anybody. If they exist, awesome. If they don't exist, then, well, what's the harm if you believed in them in the first place, right? So this next guy is apparently friends with Johnny Depp, all right? He goes, I started dating this girl, but her dad is terrifying. He was in prison for 10 years from East LA in the cartel, weapons in every room, and he's already threatened to cut my throat twice. Also, somehow he's friends with Johnny Depp. What do I do? And one absolutely genius replier goes, you should dump your girlfriend and have sex with her dad. He's definitely trying to impress you. And honestly, I mean, that's kind of a tactic that people use to, you know, mingle, all right? They, like, you know, raise their status as a person just to attract a, uh, a likely contender, if you know what I mean. So this next guy is absolutely terminally online, and it shows, all right? He goes, I catch a girl looking at me. I picture our life together. I daydream about us starting a family and raising our children. It's been three months. I really need to get out more, don't I? <laughs> Like, come on, man. That is so stupidly pathetic. I mean, it fits the bill for 4chan, but like, dude, come on. And so this next one actually has the opposite issue. He's like, I quit 4chan and tried to improve my life. It didn't work. I'm here forever. <laughs> like, come on, man. No, you're not here forever. Your personality just sucks. And so you're bound to this board for the rest of your life. Like, come on, man. This next one's an absolute roast. All right, it goes, be me. Two years ago, my friend had his first kid. Friend is white and the baby comes out black with nappy hair. Everyone is uncomfortable as it's obvious his wife cheated. People ignore it like King of the Hill. He ate a barbecue celebrating his firstborn. I show up and my autism is over 9,000. I said, did you overcook that one too? Punches me in the face and it's absolutely worth it. Like, <laughs> what, dude? That is... I, I've never actually heard of roast like that before. That's... <laughs> that's insane. Alright, so this next 4 chainer is absolutely out of touch with reality, alright? She goes... I have this friend on Discord. He's really depressed and especially down lately. Says it's because his birthday is coming up and he's still a virgin. I sent him a pic of my boobs on his birthday just to cheer him up. He gets angry and then blocks me. What the fuck? Why are men like this? And then someone replies, My friend says he's dying of hunger, so I sent him a picture of food. Why is he angry? Like, that's actually a pretty good comparison, alright? Like, come on, man. That's just baiting him at this point. Like, if you were that interested in him, you would have dated him and then, you know, you would have, like, filled that void for him or something. But no. You instead bait him and basically give him something he could find online for free, all right? That's not all men want. It's just pictures of their friend's tits. Although I ain't going to deny them either, so. Anyways, so this next one goes, Be me. Grand total of zero friends. I'm running Autism 2.0 with an OCD premium plugin. I've had a consistent imaginary conversations in my head for years. My face went, today's the day that my imaginary friends finally started talking back. Is this normal? <laughs> my guy unironically developed long-term schizophrenia, dude, or something like that. You might want to go get that checked out, G. That's not healthy. That's not good. Uh, good luck. You're going to need it. Now, this next guy's not as schizophrenic as the last one, but it goes, all right. I pretend to be I'm Gerald from The Witcher. I start mixing my protein shakes with strong alcohol like their Witcher potions. I meditate between sets. I take notes of various creatures around the gym. You know, Reuters, hand beasts, anklets, ETC, and their behaviors slash weaknesses. I try to haggle with the cutie cashier for lower gym membership. I loudly say, damn, you're ugly before lifts. Lifts skyrocket. Gains skyrocket. Is LARPing good for gains or am I just autistic? <laughs> like, come on, man. Y y you got the answer there, all right? You're just autistic. But your autistic tendencies are helping you get gains, so I wouldn't quit it as long as you're not harming anybody, you know what I mean? But this next one is absolutely crazy. There's there's no way to describe this plot twist, alright? Be me, 19 years old. I'm cleaning a historical church building, not sure what religion. 
It has an old classroom down a set of dark stairs. I go into the classroom and I start cleaning. It has doors on either side leading up to both sets of stairs. The light is burned out in the classroom, so I'm using a big flashlight to see. The flashlight goes out. The doors on either side slam at the same time. I'm terrified and I run for the door. It's locked and I ram it with my shoulder and the lock pops. I run to the stairs, run out of the church. Someone's on my truck and I can't see who it is though. I rip the door open and no one's actually in there. I drive as fast as I can to get home. I open the dorm room and my roommate is there. I hug him. He tells me I forgot my meds and he gives me some pills. I wake up and he's laying over me with <laughs> and his stuff is in my, you know, mouth. Remember to take your pills. <laughs> like, what? You can't make this shit up, man. Like, this is obviously made up, right? Like, <laughs> God, 4chan is just such an interesting place. I, I'm losing it. I, I'm losing my mind making these videos. I just, I get reminded every single day that even though I'm autistic, I'm still really fucking normal and have a very normal life compared to these people. Alright, so this next man's actually starting to understand what it's like to rent. So this is why I said in one of my previous videos that you should always stay with your parents for as long as you possibly can, alright? Because rent is expensive. Here we go. He goes, I'm getting real tired of this. I wake up in Canada, I get out of bed, I undress and I walk in the shower. My water got shut off for the fourth time this month. No warnings and no notices. Plumbing is antique and the owner refuses to renovate it. Committed to doing band-aid jobs. Bathroom fan doesn't even turn on and I put in a request for maintenance months ago. There's flies in the hallway. Every now and then a pipe will suddenly burst into a unit. Surprised water feature. Ground floor has ants. Elevator has no sensors. Closing on you even if you're not quick enough. Frequently breaks as well. Trapping the elderly in for the upper floors. Rent is $1,400 a month for a one bedroom and one bathroom. What the fuck? <laughs> I understand. I, I, it's not as bad as this normally, but like for $1,400 a month for a one bedroom, one bathroom, and it's just completely dysfunctional is actually a very realistic and very common thing. And so this is why you need to stay with your parents, all right? I'm lecturing you right now. You will stay with your parents for as long as you possibly can, all right? Trust me, it's worth it. All right, enough of the lectures, all right? This next one's actually about RuneScape, and I think we all have some interesting stories about RuneScape and, you know, either scamming people or something, all right? So this one goes, be me. I finally get a decent computer for, you know, that time. I live in Australia, so we're always behind other countries. I'm about 10. I befriend a guy from Europe on RuneScape. We become best buds. He messages me every time I log on without fail. We scale together, we slay hill giants together, and one day, I log in. He tells me he has rune armor, and that he said he's going to go in the wilderness, and that he wants me to come with him. I decide to go with him. He gets attacked by a ranger, but we kill them. European friend is on low health. I pull up my rune scimitar, and I start hitting him. I kill him. He messages me, what the fuck, bro? I thought we were friends. I take his armor, I block him, and log out crying. I... I hope he's well. <laughs> like, come on, Nanon. That's just so messed up. I mean, we all have stories about RuneScape, I feel like. If, if you're, like, 20 years old, you definitely have stories about RuneScape. It's for something. So that being said, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe so you get more like this. And uh, I, I upload shorts. I try to upload daily. I think I'm hitting about three or four days a week, you know, for just my long-form content. And I upload maybe four shorts a day. So if you're interested in like these, you know, quick bursts of stories, you know, within like the 30 second interval, definitely subscribe for my shorts. And if you want to watch these long videos, it's pretty much the same thing as a shorts, just all together. So please, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, please dislike the video. Tell me what you didn't like about it. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.